Have you ever felt like some of the things you learned in school just didn't quite add up? Like, maybe your teachers were simplifying things a bit too much? Or maybe just maybe some of that information was, well, not entirely accurate? Well, you're not alone. Today, we're taking a trip down memory lane to uncover 25 things you probably learned in school that are flat out wrong, or at least not the whole truth. Welcome to the channel. Before we begin, please subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you'll know when we post a new video. From geography fails to historical inaccuracies, we're tackling those errors that have been floating around classrooms for far too long. Here are 25 things you learned in school that are wrong. Remember those maps in elementary school with the seven continents all lined up? Number one. You probably learned Antarctica was the second largest continent, totally bogus. Antarctica is actually the fifth largest. It is larger than Europe and Australia. All right, let's dive into the fascinating world of genetics where things can get a little weird, a little wonderful, and sometimes downright unbelievable. Number two, only identical twins were possible and that there was no scientific possibility for identical triplets, quadruplets, or even quintuplets. This is not true. It is entirely possible for identical triplets, quadruplets, and even quintuplets to occur. Identical multiples happen when a single fertilized egg splits into multiple embryos, but identical multiples beyond twins are incredibly rare. Number 3. Remember in school when they told us that we're born with all the brain cells we'll ever have, and that number can only diminish throughout your life? Turns out that's not entirely true. You're born with a set number of brain cells. The reality, as always, is way more nuanced. Our brains are actually capable of growing new brain cells throughout our lives. It's called neurogenesis, and it primarily happens in a part of our brain called the hippocampus, which is super important for learning and memory. It's like our brains have a little bit of new brain cell magic going on. Number four, you need to drink eight glasses of water a day, like it's some kind of magical number for optimal health. The eight glasses a day rule is kind of a myth. The truth is, our water needs are as individual as we are. Factors like age, activity level, climate, and overall health all play a role. If you're sweating buckets at the gym, you'll need more water than someone who's just chilling at home watching Netflix. And you know what the best indicator of your hydration needs is? Thirst! Yeah, that feeling of dryness in your mouth is your body's way of saying, hey, I could really use some H2O over here, so listen to your body. Number 5. Czechoslovakia is a country in Central Europe. Yeah, it was. Or was it? This one might blow your mind a little bit, but Czechoslovakia actually doesn't exist anymore. Back on January 1, 1993, Czechoslovakia peacefully dissolved into two separate countries, the Czech Republic and Slovakia. Totally amicable breakup, no hard feelings, just two nations deciding to go their separate ways. If you're ever looking at a map from before 1993, you might see Czechoslovakia hanging out there between Germany and Ukraine. Countries can come and go. Number 6. There are only four blood types. A, B, A, B, and O, right? Turns out that's a huge simplification. It's like saying there are only four colors in the rainbow when we all know there's a whole spectrum. In reality, there are over 30 blood group systems with hundreds of different antigens. These antigens determine how your blood will react during a transfusion. The ABO and RH systems are just the most important ones for compatibility. Number 7. Remember that iconic food pyramid from elementary school? The one with grains at the bottom and fats and sweets at the top? It's no longer a thing. In 2011, the USDA introduced MyPlate, a new visual guide for healthy eating. It's a plate divided into sections for fruits, vegetables, grains, protein, and dairy. A more practical way to visualize portion control for a balanced meal. Okay, let's talk about space, specifically our place in it. Number 8. You probably learned that the Earth orbits the Sun at a fixed distance. Not true. Earth's orbit around the Sun isn't a perfect circle but rather an ellipse which is like a slightly squashed circle. This means our distance from the sun actually varies throughout the year by about 5 million kilometers. That's a lot of kilometers. Now you might be thinking, wait, wouldn't that cause crazy temperature swings? Surprisingly, not really. The Earth's tilt on its axis plays a much bigger role in the seasons than our elliptical orbit. The takeaway here? Space is weird and wonderful, and our planet's journey around the sun is more dynamic than we often realize. Number 9. Okay, we've all the teachers say it. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, it's practically been drilled into our brains since we were kids, and while breakfast can be a great way to start the day, the truth is, it's not necessarily more important than any other meal. You see, the importance of breakfast can vary a lot from person to person. It depends on things like your metabolism, your activity level, and even your personal preferences. 
Some people function best with a hearty breakfast, while others do just fine skipping it altogether. The key takeaway here is to listen to your body. If you wake up hungry, then by all means have a nutritious breakfast. But if you're not feeling it, don't force yourself. The most important thing is to nourish your body throughout the day, regardless of when you choose to have your first meal. Number 10. You have to learn cursive because print won't be accepted at high school. Remember all that time you spent practicing your letters, connecting those loopy A's and swirling G's? Well, it turns out all that effort might not have been strictly necessary. In many schools today, cursive writing is no longer a mandatory subject. With the rise of computers and digital communication, the emphasis has shifted towards keyboard proficiency. And while some argue that cursive is still important for developing fine motor skills and improving cognitive function, others believe it's become somewhat obsolete in our increasingly digital world. Now I'm not saying cursive is completely useless, it can still be a valuable skill to have, especially for things like signing documents or reading historical texts. But the reality is, it's no longer an essential requirement for success in the 21st century. Number 11. You need to have two spaces after a period. If you were taught to type on a typewriter, you probably learned to put two spaces. But guess what? In the age of computers and digital typography, the rule has changed. The current standard is to use just one space after a period. Why the change? Well, it has to do with the way digital fonts are designed. They're already spaced proportionally, so that extra space is no longer necessary. In fact, using two spaces can actually make your writing look cluttered and outdated. And hey, if you're ever unsure about a grammar rule, don't be afraid to look it up. Language is constantly evolving, and it's always good to stay informed. Number 12. There are three learning styles. Like you're a visual learner or an auditory learner or kinetic learner, turns out that's not really how our brains work. It was a nice idea, right? That we could just categorize ourselves and then boom, learning becomes easy. The truth is, our brains are way more complex and adaptable than that. We use a whole bunch of different strategies to learn, often simultaneously. It's not about finding one right way, but about being flexible and finding what works best in each situation. The important thing is to keep trying different approaches and figure out what helps you learn most effectively. Number 13. You had to have the same blood type as one of your parents. This is so not true. You inherit your blood type from your parents, but it's not as simple as just getting one from your mom and one from your dad. See, each blood type is determined by the presence or absence of certain antigens on the surface of red blood cells. You get one gene from each parent, and these genes can combine in different ways. So even if both your parents have type A blood, you could end up with type O. It all depends on whether they carry the recessive O allele. It's like a genetic lottery but instead of winning money, you get a blood type. Number 14. Remember when teachers would say, this is going on your permanent record. Like it was some scary, all-knowing document that would haunt you forever? The truth is there's no single ominous permanent record that follows you around for life. Sure, schools keep records of your grades and attendance, but those are generally kept confidential and are mostly used for things like transferring schools. One bad grade or a minor disciplinary incident isn't going to ruin your chances of getting a job in the future. Number 15. Alright, so remember, back in the day when teachers would say, you won't always have a calculator in your pocket? Turns out, they were kind of wrong. I mean, we carry around these supercomputers in our pockets every day. And it's not just our phones, calculators are everywhere. Laptops, tablets, even smartwatches can crunch numbers faster than we can say Pythagorean theorem. To be fair, teachers just wanted us to understand the concepts behind the calculations, which is super important. Think of it like this. You wouldn't use Google Translate to write a novel in a language you don't understand, right? You need to know the grammar, the vocabulary, the nuances of the language to truly express yourself. Math is kind of the same way. Knowing how to do the math yourself gives you a deeper understanding of the problem and helps you catch errors. Number 16. If you get good grades, you will be successful. Good grades are important, but they're not everything. They show effort and understanding, but life is more complicated. Success involves creativity, problem solving, and resilience. Think about successful people. Their success isn't just about grades. They had passions beyond the classroom and embraced failure. Education is valuable, but learning goes beyond school. Number 17. At some point in the past, the climate was uniformly warm across the planet. This is false. Earth's climate has never been uniform. Our planet has a long history of climate fluctuations. Even during ice ages, greenhouse periods, or volcanic eruptions, the climate wasn't uniformed. Number 18. 
Men's brains and women's brains are inherently different from birth. Well, turns out our brains didn't get that memo. It's a common misconception that men and women have vastly different brains, leading to stereotypes about skills and abilities, you know, like men being better at math and women being more emotional. While there are some small structural differences, the brains of men and women are remarkably similar. Think about it, we both have the same basic brain regions responsible for language, memory, emotions, and problem solving. These regions function in very similar ways, regardless of gender. Now, I'm not saying that individual experiences and social influences don't play a role in shaping our skills and behaviors because they absolutely do, but the idea that our brains are hardwired differently based solely on our gender? Yeah, that's not true. If you learned this next one, please put the year you learned it in the comments because you I think it is still being taught today. Number 19. North America consists of Canada, the United States, and Mexico. But it's far more diverse. I don't know why they leave out the smaller countries and territories. Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama, just to name a few. North America has 23 countries. Number 21. The oil in the ground came from decomposed dinosaurs. Oil doesn't come from dinosaurs but from tiny ancient marine organisms. These organisms sank to the ocean floor, forming layers of organic matter. Over millions of years heat and pressure transformed them into hydrocarbons. Number 21. Water conducts electricity. Actually pure water is a bad conductor of electricity. It's the impurities like salts and minerals make it conductive. These impurities break into ions, allowing electricity to flow. That's why water and electricity can be dangerous together. Number 22. Sugar make kids hyper. The idea that sugar causes hyperactivity, especially in children, is a myth. While it might seem intuitive that sugar, with its quick energy boost, would lead to hyperactivity, numerous scientific studies have actually found no direct link between sugar consumption and hyperactivity in children or adults. It turns out, a lot of what we perceive as a sugar rush is actually just situational. Think about it. Kids are often most excited and energetic in situations where they're also most likely to be given sugary treats, like birthday parties or holidays. The excitement and energy are likely due to the environment and social interaction, not the sugar itself. So while it's still important to moderate sugar intake for overall health, don't feel like you have to ban the sweets entirely. Number 23. Lightning never strikes the same place twice. In reality, lightning often strikes the same place multiple times, especially if that location is a tall object or a conductive structure that attracts electrical charges. Think about it. Lightning is essentially electricity looking for the easiest path to the ground. Tall buildings, trees, even radio towers, they all provide a more direct route for the lightning to travel. For example, the Empire State Building is struck by lightning around 25 times per year. Here is another lightning fact. A man named Roy Sullivan, a U.S. park ranger, was struck by lightning seven times during his lifetime and survived all incidents. This earned him the nickname, the Human Lightning Rod. So, if lightning strikes a particular spot once, there's a good chance it might strike there again, especially if the conditions are right. Number 24. Cracking your knuckles will give you arthritis when you're older. Well, good news, it's probably not true. The popping sound you hear when you crack your knuckles isn't bones grinding together or anything quite so gruesome, it's actually gas bubbles forming and collapsing in the fluid around your joints. Totally harmless. Studies haven't found any link between knuckle cracking and arthritis. I think maybe the sound drove teachers crazy, some people just find the sound really really annoying. Number 25. Humans have to responses to stress fight or flight. Well turns out it's not quite that simple. While the fight or flight response is definitely a real thing, it's just one part of a much more complex system. Humans have a whole spectrum of responses to stress and they can vary depending on the situation and even our own individual personalities. Sometimes instead of fight or flight, we freeze. This freeze response is our brain's way of trying to process the situation and figure out the best course of action. And then there's the tend and befriend response which is more about seeking social support and connection during times of stress. Well there you have it. 25 things you probably learned in school that aren't quite right. It's amazing how much we're still learning about the world around us, even things we thought we knew for sure. Thanks for sticking with me on this journey of discovery. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more interesting facts. See you next time.